Hi guys, I'm going to try drawing this pair of lovely feet in uh, spiky striped pumps. Let's see if I could do that. So I have a pencil, Tailwind, Sketching, HB. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to roughly Draw the ankles coming in and then you can roughly this is that roughly draw in the foot. So just general outline looks like that and the other one goes behind and peaks forward and sits approximately slightly higher and further out than the other one so see there is a little bit of a space here you just try to put it like map it out first on your page if it, it's if it's not exact it doesn't it's not so great right now so this heel right now the look at look at every detail in relationship to to the rest of them right so this instep, the outside of an instep, has a curvature. The instep, in her case, she has a very shallow instep, actually. So this curve is quite shallow. And then the tip of the shoe. This line here is still her foot, and then there begins the shoe. And just look at every detail separately and try to place it within your drawing. So ankle is closer to where the shoe begins over there. And there is a shadow. This wraps in forward. And there is a uh, shallow back of the shoe. And the heel starts after like past this curvature because it's sort of hiding behind so you want to start it so where the heel will land here you have to draw the line imaginary or visible that lines together with the sole of the shoe now every shoe, every well-made shoe has a curvature right here because no shoe stands completely flat on the floor right here. There is a little bit of a curvature. Every toe should be picked up from the floor when the shoe is standing on the surface, right? Um, you could see the reflection, there's a shadow in there on the photograph. There's a little shadow that signifies this. this the toe box, this is called toe box, is not standing on the floor. Um, so the heel will land 
on the on the surface of the floor so if it lines up with this line it means it's incorrect because there is a little bit of an elliptical surface on which it stands so you have to kind of get off the, this would be this would signify the edge of the shoe but it needs to be in space it needs to be away from that edge so the heel will be right there somewhere and then it has a surface it has several surfaces the heel it has the surface that is upholstered so this one, right? So it has a striped fabric on it still, or whatever is leather. And then the other surface is inside that's upholstered with the natural leather. And this line is perpendicular to the axis of the shoe. Do you see? So then this has a curvature and then this has a curvature and it becomes the sole. So sole has a dimension, if you could see, it even has, um, oh, hold on, from this view you could even see the sole of the shoe, you see black is the edging on um, how it's treated and this other beige part underneath or white part underneath is the sole proper that you could even see because it's a very new shoe and the bottom has a curvature also like it has a little bit of a roll um right and here is a little dip also in the middle See that dip? It dips, it bites into her, into her foot here. And you need to draw that also. So this curvature is not like this curvature. This curvature is in the inside of the left leg, uh, foot, and it's much deeper and much more pronounced. So this um, curvature is more of a, sorry, this way, sort of, points this way. This curvature points that way. And on the drawing, it's always very good to make difference between right and left foot, no matter how you, where you're drawing them. So here we go. So this is her instep, in her case very shallow, and there is a little bit of a curvature here that bites into her foot, like I said. And this line here is pretty straight and then it is wrapped to point downwards here. And that's pretty much your shoe. I mean, it has this Mary Jane business, that strap, which you have to also wrap around the curvature of her foot. The little buckle. And then you could detail this shoe and you could say, all right, the stripes help you understand also the curvatures because they're kind of pointing you in the right direction. So this points that way, wraps around approximately that way. Um, I think I didn't get it. I think it's right there rather than not here. And then this starts maybe here. Again, watch where, where things begin and end. And so this wraps around. Again, it has a curvature. And this wraps around and also follows the curvature. And this has a curvature. So these lines, um, 
in this particular shoe they help you understand and they all need to be parallel so once you draw them in you have to maybe compare and measure them they're supposed to look like a consistent stripe so just double check that their width is correct so this is dark this is dark this is dark and this is dark that's that's this shoe uh, the other shoe starts around here and then kind of touches almost touches and then it curves much more here also because she I think she lifts her heel here and leans into this instep so it goes in here there's a curvature here and it bites into her and does this as far as I could see and this is her foot somewhere where her bone would be and then her instep falls away slightly the inside of her foot falls away and this curves in and the strap should be approximately the same location as the other one because it's two it's shoes for two left and right and again the sole helps if you pick it up a little bit off the floor again off the floor and it has a toe box it has a height here because right and then you draw this lines for the stripes no, that went too far thickness of the sole and style lines just just a matter of spacing them evenly and this goes on both sides of the strap and this peaks in so you could barely see it and this wraps around her heel that way so i'm going to shade the darkness the dark stripes shade shade this is dark So shoes, this is, this would be your first approximation, first study of these shoes. Um, then you could um, look at it even cl closer and see there is a stitching that goes over here. You could see a tiny stitching. You could put that in. And same here, I'm losing light here. Same here, there is a stitching, uh, thickness of the sole, you could do with a finer pencil. There is also, I mean, there are these are little, uh, what is it called, prong in the buckle and tiny hole. You could detail it out. What else is there? So shadow over there is not really a shadow as much as it is a highlight. Highlight is look at the shiny shoes. I think they're satin. So the highlight, if you look closely, is located in this. This would be the highlight area. Right there. Everything else looks pretty flat. Um, and here as well, it, it slides. This is highlight. I'm... I'm um, outlining this is highlight 
So this area would be, you could erase it. I mean, it depends how you're rendering it. So this is where you need to place your highlight. Maybe slightly lighter than that. So if it's navy, it gets a little hit of something lighter. So this helps you understand positioning of striped shoes in space. Here you cannot see the sole. And this is that. Okay. Um, more ne next to follow. Thanks. Bye.